Got LaMelo Ball versus Tyrese Hallis Burton. I hope y'all ready. All right. <laughs> Melo Ball who has been in the spotlight since he was 13 years of age he is used to it so when the NBA came around the rookie of the year race came around he was not nervous because he's been like that for almost seven years he played basketball at Chino Hills obviously then went to Spire Institute where he became a top 20 five-star recruit athlete then he took his talents to the NBA obviously because he couldn't wear his mellow ball shoes in the NCAA because they some hating ass motherfuckers so that's what LaMelo did and he won rookie of the year over there in the NBA and a lot of people didn't think that the NBA could be translated into the NCAA in terms of skill and high level basketball play, which is the total opposite. You can argue that the NBA is more experienced players. And if you come there as a young guy and dominate, you are well aware of you being a good player because you're facing grown men and you're in a whole new country. So you have to get adapted to that. But the NCAA is not a good way to even judge a NBA player off of unless they pop out on your screen like Zion Williamson did. Melo said, F all that, he's going to the NBA. Run rookie of the year, came back over here, was the third pick in the draft, even though I think he was the best prospect, not best player. You know, their careers just started 20 games in. A six, eight point guard who can pass, dribble, can handle the rock, everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how damn James Wiseman got picked ahead of him. Tyrese Hallis Burton took a more traditional route. Um, he went to Iowa State for two years. He was great at Iowa State. He came out the draft as the 12th pick to the Sacramento King. Tyrese was a point guard. And the franchise player on the Kings is De'Aaron Fox, who they just paid a maximum contract to. So drafting two point guards in the span of four years is kind of Sacramento Kings-ish. But Tyrese Hallis Burton is a great player. Now let's talk about Tyrese first. Tyrese Hollis Burton, first of all, he has a high floor. If Tyrese doesn't get better right now, he can start and be a very winning player on a lot of winning teams. He doesn't have to get better right now at all. What do you want out of a rotation player or a starter in the NBA? You want size, you want instincts, you want spot up shooting, you want switchability. Tyrese has all of that like that. He's a great playmaker. He was a great playmaker in the Iowa State. That's what he got drafted for. Um, also with his size, he can see over big man when they called him big body screens. He's a great defender, which I didn't think he was. I didn't really watch a lot of tapes of Hallis Burton defensively. I really saw his playmaking and his instincts are next level. Like he plays the game 10 steps ahead of the opposition. And people always was running by his three point shot. His three point shot is ugly as hell. No cap, it's ugly, but it go in. And he make them from the corner, from the deep, everything. I think the next step for him is shooting that shot more off dribble. And you know what I'm saying? He's only a rookie. He doesn't even have to work on that. He also play both guard positions. Like I said, he got drafted with De'Aaron Fox on the team. He can play that shooting guard position. I don't think the Kings are really high on Buddy Hill. I think Buddy Hill is not taking him nowhere because Buddy Hill can't guard nothing. He's also shorter than Tyrese Hellas Burton. He's also shooting the worst percentage than Tyrese as well. So based on the stats, Tyrese is a better shooter, defender, bigger body, and he can play next to De'Aaron Fox. And he's, he also control the offense. He won't throw up no bullshit like Buddy Hill did. So Tyrese, he plays like a six year vet based on not coming out the draft so early. He stayed two years in college, which I think if you're not ready, bro, stay in college because the NBA don't care about developing you. They will drop you like a bad habit. So stay in college, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy that college life and get better as a basketball player. Thing that was Tyrese's weaknesses coming out of college was his finishing ability. That's, that's not even a weakness that you can even point out as of yet because he's finishing decent around the rim so far. Um, I think Tyree's next step is being a better scorer, obviously because he has everything else. And I think he can because he has the confidence to do so. A lot of the things you need to do in the world or in your life, you need the confidence before you even actually try to get good at it. And I think Tyrese is good at it. He already can run a whole offense by himself with no mistakes given. He doesn't make no mistakes. And we got LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball does make some mistakes. LaMelo Ball can have a game of six turnovers in 20 minutes and next game with no turnovers in 35 minutes he's like this but i think over time he's gonna get better at controlling the rock why because he's 19 years old he's 19 
And LaMelo Ball, as I said, as a prospect, he's well above everybody. He's a tall point guard and not actually a big guy who can pass. He's an actual point guard because he hit a growth spurt of like six inches over the summer. He always has handles because, you know what I'm saying, he was always small, so the only way he can get by people with them handles. He can pass the ball just like his brother because his brother was one of the best passers <laughs> that he ever seen because they grew up together. That natural passing ability just passed down to LaMelo Ball. Much better score than I thought he was gonna be. I thought LaMelo was gonna put some shots up, no cap, but I didn't think he was gonna be this efficient and also balancing his passing with it. LaMelo Ball is a great, I wouldn't say great scorer, but he's a good scorer, especially at 19 years old. How many rookies have you seen with much poise and much control as LaMelo? The only thing that's coming up to me is Luka. And Luka has been playing professional basketball since he was like 16. Granted, LaMelo Ball has been playing professional basketball since he was like 16 as well, but Lithuania is not really close as the leagues Luka played in. And you know me, bro. I'm biased. I am a biased individual. Um, but I'm trying not to be biased against LaMelo Ball. Um, the thing about LaMelo Ball's his weaknesses was his shot IQ and his shot mechanics. Now we can just disregard shot mechanics because that motherfucker dropping from deep, from mid-range, everything. He's dropping that every which way. You know what I'm saying? People over overthink the game of basketball, bro. Like look, look at LaMelo Ball and look 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 at one game he plays. This man can play basketball. I don't care about no shot mechanics. He's 6'8". He can shoot over opposing point guards. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shot IQ, he's 19 years old. Each year of LaMelo's life, he's played with a different team, and they ask him to score. You know what I'm saying? Spire, Lithuania, Chino Hills, NBL. He never had no structure, no stability. That man played in LeVar Ball League, the BBB League. He was asked to score at all five levels of the game. And shot IQ as a 19 year old, bro, that doesn't really mean nothing because most 19 year olds who enter the league have bad shot IQ. But LaMelo doesn't even have that. So I don't even know what LaMelo's weakness is. I mean, he has to get more bulky as a player to defend better because his defense is not on Tyrese. That's a fact. Um, but his instincts, I think, are on par with Tyrese. You know what I'm saying? Especially with LaMelo's long arms. LaMelo's not of a great athlete as I want him to be, but he can. He can run though, he's not slow. He's not Kyle Anderson. And it looks like MJ is gonna build this team around LaMelo Ball. It's a no brainer in my opinion. And off the off chance, Tyrese is not gonna get the team built around him because De'Aaron Fox is right there. Now, if we go to Tyrese Halliburton stats, a lot of y'all like stats, but even though stats are created differently in, in, in different systems, Tyrese right now is averaging 12 points a game, almost 50% from the field and 44% from three point range, 87% from the free throw line with almost four rebounds and five assists in only 29 minutes a game. That's very efficient basketball, very efficient. I think every team in the league will have Tyrese on their team in a heartbeat. And he will probably play big minutes, 30 minutes a night on each team. What guy do you not want who can pass the ball, who can, who can defend the ball, who can shoot that thing, and also is big for his position. Now LaMelo Ball is averaging 14 points a game on 43% from the field, 36% from three, and 79 from the free throw line with six rebounds and six assists in almost 26 minutes a game. Another, another guard who's not getting enough minutes, but LaMelo's minutes are going up and up as time goes on. He's averaging more points, rebounds, and assists than Tyrese Hellesburg in less minutes, but the thing is Tyrese doesn't have the ball in his hands like LaMelo. LaMelo plays with two ball dominant guards, but they suck so bad that LaMelo has to take reins over. And I think it's gonna stay like that because they have been winning games. Um, also, the Sacramento Kings have been winning games when Tyrese is playing good. So it's all about opportunity at this point in their short careers, but I think LaMelo Ball is clearly a better prospect and also a better pro right now and in the next 10 to 12 years. I think I think LaMelo Ball is going to have time to improve. He's also younger, taller, a better passer. Even though Tyrese is a good passer, he's not LaMelo. LaMelo has that it factor, and I hate when people say that it factor because you can't explain the it factor. But LaMelo has it. His teammates love him. Fans are tuning in to watch some goddamn Charlotte Hornet games. They wasn't even doing that with Kemba, was playing on the team. But I know with the BBB and all that stuff, but LaMelo Ball is better right now. Now, I'm not saying Tyrese cannot become good 
you know what I'm saying? Tyrese, I think, is going to be a great player in this league. Now, I don't know where he's going to be. It's hard to gauge his ceiling. He's limited as a scorer, but I think he's going to get better. All his skills right now, he can play on every team and be dominant. LaMelo Ball, with his skills, I think you have to build a team around LaMelo Ball to even get his full potential out because he's not going to do the dirty work like Tyrese has. He's not going to defend the best player. He's not going to rebound the ball. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to spot up shoot like Tyrese. LaMelo Ball has to get that team fixated around him and they will be great. And Tyrese may get a team in the future. He might say F the Kings and go to his own team. Yeah, man, I haven't done a video in about five days. I'm sorry. Uh, I was tired. I had some personal stuff to do. And yeah, but we back with the daily or semi-daily uploads. And yeah, man, I'm out for this video, man. Peace.